Hello, uh, today I'm going to be doing a full tutorial on how to jailbreak your first generation iPod Touch. Uh, a second generation, uh, you can now fully jailbreak a second generation iPod Touch, but this is not the tutorial for it. Uh, you can probably find one. Don't use Red Snow, that's an untethered iPod Touch to second generation, uh, application. Uh, untethered means, uh, well, it's a tether, sorry, which means once you turn it off, you're going to have to turn it back on using a crazy application, and pretty much broke my friend's iPod. He has a 2G. But I have a 1G, and it's a lot easier to jailbreak those, so if you have one, you're very lucky. So, first thing you're gonna, you're gonna need two things for this tutorial. Quick Pwn, and the iPod 2.2.1 Restore. So, thing you're gonna wanna do is go to quickpone.com. Here it is, quickpone. And hit downloads. So once you're at the downloads page, downloads, jailbreaking downloads, you're going, sorry, downloads. You're going to scroll down and get, say, download quickpones for Windows. So now that you've downloaded quickpone for Windows, you say OK. You can open it and you have to extract the stuff in the zip. So once you've got the stuff extracted, you should have quickpone and the readme file so next thing you need is this ipod one underscore two point two point one underscore five h one one underscore restore the file which is what uh... apple uses to update your ipod now if you have our if you've had your ipod touch for a while and you've been updating it regularly you can find uh... this file on a window on a windows xp computer i'm not sure about uh... vista you have to search that up where to find it on vista but c drive you have to hit like uh... For hit view uh... or edit sorry no tools folder options view and then you have to tick the show hidden files and folders so once you've done that you should be able to get into your c drive and see the documents and settings click that select your user application data then you select apple computer and then itunes i have i just reinstalled my computer so i don't have the folder here but there should be a win uh uh ipod update folder and you're going to click on it and inside you're to find the ipod f file i was talking about two days ago now don't worry if you can't find this file it doesn't really cuz right here i have a mega upload link to the ipod one dash oh, underscore one one underscore two point two whatever it is is ipsw uh... file and i'll put this link in the description which should be over here where my mouse can't reach and uh... yes so then you're going to once you have a file you're gonna plug in your ipod and you're gonna open the quickpone software now Mind you, I've already done this. I've already uh, jailbroken my iPod. It says here, we're not responsible. Okay, okay, okay. And let me move this into the middle for you guys. Okay. It's going to ask you to connect your iPod, then you're going to hit next, and it's going to ask you to f uh, to find the actual f f uh, restore file. Say, find it, and then say okay. So once you have uh, that file, you're going to hit next, and then the the, the QuickPone software will guide you through the installation process. Once it's done, you will have all your music that you had before, I think, pretty sure, and uh, you're going to have a fully jailbroken iPod. Now, uh, part two, it's sort of like a part two, but it's pretty much the same thing. I have an iPod uh, touch tutorial for jailbroken iPods to tell you exactly what you need to get the most out of your jailbroken iPod, how to get free apps, free themes, all that stuff, what uh, what sources are, what city, uh, what's install is, all that stuff. So don't worry, you're going to get your jailbroken iPod and you're going to be like, okay, what now? Well, just go over to the side and click on in like related videos, or you might have to go to my channel and find part two of how to jailbreak. Well, I think I'll call it pretty much, I think I'll call it like, how to, what you need with the jailbroken iPod accessories or something. So yeah, so thanks a lot for watching this video. I know there's thousands of us and this probably isn't going to get many views, but I wanted to do this because this is a 100% way to jailbreak your iPod. 
and uh, it won't fail. And if it does, it's not my fault. So thanks, guys. Thanks a lot again, guys. Hope you really enjoyed it. And uh, just go to related links right now and click on necessary stuff. Bye, guys.